Previewing NFL Week 5 here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and we are talking right now with SBR contributor John Ryan from JohnRyanSports.com. And John, the second game that I asked you to uh, discuss is Atlanta at Washington. Uh, Washington is a home dog of three points. A total is 50, and that's the one that caught my eye. I mean, obviously, Atlanta has an awesome, super efficient offense, putting up a lot of points this year. And Washington, of course, their strength is the offense. They're, they've been very effective as well. Their defense is uh, giving up a lot of points. The lowest total that Atlanta has scored this year has been 27. The lowest total Washington scored has been 24. So you put those together, you got 51. So why is the total only 50? And do you think that the over might be a great bet here? Well, it's kind of a contrary indicator, I think. Uh, right now, uh, about 73% of the public bets are on the over. Uh -huh. And as you know, I, I'm a contrarian. When I when I get above 75%, that, that kind of gets me going to the other side. Um, and I also think, you know, when you see a line that just looks kind of funny and you think, boy, that should be like 55 or 54 and it sure. comes in at 50, it oftentimes is telling you something that, you know, this game may not be the over that we think it is. Um, you know, I am surprised, too, that Washington's a three-point home dog, given that Atlanta has not faced anything like RG3 uh, yet to date. Uh, Atlanta is playing well. They're 4-0. Uh, but... You know, Robert Griffin III has proven to be you know, quite the stud quarterback so far this year, and I think Atlanta could have their hands full. I do think my suggestion here is that if this game uh, is won by Washington, I think the total will be, will be going over. Mm -hmm. And conversely, if Atlanta's going to win this game, it, it'll go under the total because they're able to contain uh, RG3. Uh, so for like a parlay consideration or even a teaser, I think I, I would lean one way or the other. Uh, with that combination. Yeah, one thing I did notice is that uh, there might be some rainy weather in Washington, so that could be a factor that's keeping the total a little bit low. Uh, so regardless of the total, uh, do you have any kind of lean towards the side? Um, I do. It, it, it would be on on uh, Washington in this case, and it, it's just a slight lean because yeah. um, I just don't, you know, RG3 is a great player, uh, but he, he's only played four weeks, and now he's going up against a team that's 4-0, and... and Pretty much for the first four games of the year now, he has done it himself. And they, they're two and two now. And uh, I still think that I need to have more confidence seeing him play consistently throughout a game and then making the players around him better, which is what he's done. Um, you know, Matt Ryan is a proven quarterback. Atlanta is a proven team. And it's, it's kind of hard to really get excited about Washington in this game. I, I actually like the under... Uh, as a much, much better opportunity. Okay, great. We'll see how it turns out. Thanks, John.